International law has been studied at the University of Bristol for around 100 years now, and we now have one of the largest communities of international lawyers in the country. We are seeing an increasingly globalised and technologically connected world, which means that international law is coming into areas it may not have done in previous years. People tend to think that when we talk about international law, we are only talking about human rights, but we need to study international litigation, international commercial law, international labour law. We unite all these themes in an international perspective. Our undergraduate students can study general courses on international law where we examine the relationship with domestic law, jurisdiction and immunity. They can then move on to study more advanced units. We focus on the laws of war and how we can manage chaotic situations, when and how human rights can be applied. We look at the laws around genocide, sexual violence and conflict, but also how this can relate to economic situations when we're looking at trade and how that can be managed on a global scale. Research-led teaching is hugely important. It's incredibly challenging, but it's also hugely enriching. We have specialists working in a variety of fields. We also have expertise in more doctrinal and theoretical and historical areas of international law. Being taught in a way which is led by staff members' research really makes you feel like you're understanding how the discipline is living and breathing and developing over time. I teach undergraduate law students an optional unit on British immigration in which we discuss issues of citizenship, nationality and acquiring immigration status, all of which are pretty much drawn from my own research. Being able to work with an expert in the field of the philosophy of international law was a privilege and I learned a lot, not only about the field, but in how to conduct research to refine critical thinking faculties and things like that. Bristol Law School particularly is incredibly strong in terms of its PhD community. It gives PhD students an opportunity to form communities even with those scholars who are much more senior and to get support and inspiration from them. The greatest thing about Bristol is that we go beyond the binary of like a law career that is becoming a barrister or a solicitor. It's a degree that is so complete and so progressive that will allow the development of your thinking, your engagement in politics and society and economics, and will ultimately develop a more holistic view and perspective of the world. We have a number of preeminent lawyers that have left the law school and gone on to international law careers. There are big international law firms here in Bristol as well and the law school itself has ongoing connections with some of the biggest law firms in the world. The atmosphere in which the university is situated in a city where you have a lot of activism, you have a lot of people who are politically engaged and interested in you know, current affairs. I think Bristol ticks a lot of boxes in supporting those goals if, if that's where you're looking to go.